Uh, welcome at uh, Elector uh, Labs. Today I will talk about uh, our latest Bluetooth module, a small breakout board for a layered BL600 Bluetooth module. It has very interesting option, which is that you can program it in uh, Smart Basic. So instead of sending AT commands to it, you can write a script in Basic, send a script to the module, and then the module, when you power it, will execute the script. And it also has I2C SPI ports and GPIO ports that you can control from BASIC. So actually it's a Bluetooth controlled uh, computer, small computer. Uh, it is very low power. So here I have a model on which I soldered a small uh, battery uh, holder. And it can run from a button cell. On the module we have two jumpers. An OTA jumper, the two, the small uh, two-pin jumper, and a three-pin jumper, which is for debugging or for normal mode. The OTA jumper is very important because that's the jumper that allows you to program the module over the air. OTA means over the air, um, allowing you to program the module without being connected to the computer. You use, just use your mobile phone to program the module with new firmware. You have to go to the, this is the Android version. You have to go to the Google Play Store where you have to look for the Laird, L-A-I-R-D toolkit and you install it on your phone. It's free application. Once you have installed it, you open it and you go to the OTA function. You select the file, the, the executable that you want to load onto your module. I have it in Dropbox here. It processes the file. Okay, now it's ready. Now I have to scan for the module. I have to look it up. Uh, unfortunately, it's not powered, so I will power it by plugging it onto my breadboard. In the right position. And now it's powered from uh, the USB port which is easier. No, didn't find it, I have to reset it first. Okay, so once you have the file that you want to program loaded into the application, you press scan. We are connected, I press download and the progress bar shows the progress of the download. That's all there is to do. In the article, there is a small a drawing here on the right bottom of the fourth page that shows a little uh, circuit how you can wire up the Bluetooth module with a, a RS-232 breakout board, a serial converter board, so that you can talk to the, uh, the Bluetooth module over a serial port. For this you need a special tool from Laird again, it's called UW Terminal. This is what you get. You accept, of course, the, the license. The baud rate has to be set to 9600. You have to select the COM port, which in my case is 44. Press OK, and you get a, module, uh, a terminal window. Press a key, and when you see 00, this means that you are talking to the module. Now you can type a command like AT plus DIR to get the file list of the module. There aren't any files on the module, so it's empty. Another command very useful, so I will type it here, is the erase command. It's the AT en passant F space 1, this command. When you press it, it will delete all the files on the module and reboot the Bluetooth module. There we go. And when you get the zero, 0 again, it is uh, up and running again. So now it is empty. Uh, if I now place the OTA jumper, reset the module because I changed the mode, and take my layer toolkit, scan to find my Bluetooth module, and download the file you will see the data coming in on the terminal. Which is uh, 
useful, I don't know, but at least you can see that it is working. It's not very fast, it's 9600 baud. Uh, I haven't found the command yet to uh, speed up the baud rate, but it is certainly possible. So now that you have your application running on the Bluetooth module, uh, you are probably uh, interested in programming yourself the module. And for this we will publish a series of articles in the coming editions where we will explain how to program in Smart Basic because it's a dialect of Basic, how to use Bluetooth in Smart Basic because that's a little bit more complicated than just plain Basic, and what you can do with it because, as I said before, you have an I2C interface on it or an SPI interface. So not only can you toggle relays and LEDs, you can also control complicated uh, uh, ICs and the sensors. Because it's a low power Bluetooth 4 device, it's uh, perfect for what is very hyping uh, at the moment, um, the Internet of Things, of course. So if you come up with a nice uh, application, a low power uh, Internet of Things application, and you need Bluetooth communication, this is the module to use. Mm -hmm.